In these clips, students and teachers discuss the difficulties of learning a new language and their perceptions of the role of their first language. At first, uh, I, I could like understand anything, but I couldn't like speak properly. But uh, it was like too English for me that like I have to understand everybody who was talking to me. So like in, like first week I had like bad headaches, <laughs> you know, because like yeah, my brain was like getting so tired and I couldn't like. Then after after a month it got better and better. Then after six months the uh, speaking got better. Actually, when I first came here, sometimes I speak. Um, my own language in class. I didn't feel anything. I just, just I just say it to my friends. I didn't feel embarrassed or anything. But after that, when I speak more English, and and then when I see people speak Chinese in class, I feel weird because like people just stare at you. They don't know what you're talking about. And then they, the, the people feel uncomfortable because they also scared if you're talking something bad, you know. So it, now when I see people speak their own language in, in class, I kind of good. It's, it's actually like a change. So you actually uh, need to realize that people's listening. I think there are quite a few students that they're willing, they're, they're like very friendly and they're willing to help you if you approach them. Um, but also I think it's more important that like for yourself, you get yourself into those um, like groups that speak English instead of your own language. Uh, it helps a lot like if you hang out with people who speak English than your own language that like you will improve your English more quickly that way. Mm -hmm. um, but like there are people willing to help but it's important that you approach them yourself. But That's you for important. sure need some like uh, students from your own uh, nationality yeah. to help you because oh. sometimes you don't know anything. Like That's some, for, for, for example, you, you need to know about the school, about the scheduling, about the uh, times, about the rooms, like how like you need help, but and because your your English is not good, so you can can really just co communicate with people who speak English. I used to study in uh, Newtonbrook for a while, and there's a lot of people uh, with my of my own uh, language background. But when I uh, got to other school, where there was there was like mostly people from other cultures. I found myself like stumbling and stuttering when I, when I was speaking to them, so I had to go to whole, to this whole process again of like um, learning how to communicate with English speaking people. I don't know about jokes. Oh, right. Jokes are so different. I know. You, yeah. Sometimes you don't understand their jokes. Yeah. When people yeah. are laughing, you don't laugh, and then you feel awkward. Yeah. That's probably yes. because they're cultural. Yeah. Even now, my parents are like, uh, they watch the TV and, and you hear the soap, soap operas, and people are background, people are laughing. My parents stare at the TV. Okay, what is what it? Is what is it? What's so funny about it? About it? <laughs> <laughs> Even in class, people are, you know, a lot of teachers, they, they, they kind of tell you a joke in the middle of the class to cheer you up, and then you go, what? 